we'll go on to a new topic in SQL, a very, very important topic, nested subqueries. Okay, from the word itself, it is understandable. What do you mean by this? A nested subquery means a query inside a query. Okay, so you know you will have minimum two sets of queries. You call the first set the main query or the outer query. Okay, you call it the main query or the outer query. This is called main query or even the outer query. And then you will have a subquery. It is even called as the inner query. Okay. You can have more than one inner query. And then a single outer query. So you know, a subquery is actually a select statement embedded in another select statement. You will have a main query. And inside that, you can have more than one queries embedded. Now, this is how it will look like. You know, select something from something where you'll have an expression and then another select. So don't worry how you write it, we will learn. Now, this is my subquery or the inner query. And this will be my outer query or the main query. Now, when you uh, look into uh, types of subqueries, there are many kinds of subqueries. You have a single row subquery, multiple row subquery, multiple column subquery, correlated subquery, and uncorrelated subquery. We will be learning one by one in detail. Now, the first one, what we will see today is single row subquery. What do you mean by a single row subquery? Now, from the word itself, it can only return one result to the outer query. Usually, you will be using all these kind of operations. Now, let's see what do you mean by a single row subquery. We'll do it with the help of examples. Okay. So I'll just take my table, one table which I have. Select star from test underscore student. Okay, now I do have SID, I do have name, city, M1, M2, and M3. So what we are seeing is single row subquery. Okay, so let's have a, a very simple question. Uh, what are the M1 marks of, let's say, a student? If I can go for a random, Ryan. What are the M1 marks of Ryan? You know how to write the query. Select uh, M1 from test underscore SPU, where student name, name is equal to I'll just run this query this side. Okay. I do get a result. Look here. This is a single row result. I gave a condition over here. This is a single row result. Now, single row subquery is I will have an outer query. I will have an outer query. And I will also have an inner query. But the inner query, it will be returning only one row. And my outer query will be working on that. That is what you mean by single row subquery. Now, you even have things like multiple, multiple row subquery. Uh, imagine uh, I give something like, uh, who all stay in Kochi? Okay. Now I'm working on a multiple row subquery. Let's say who all live in Kochi. Okay. So I say select star from test underscore STU where city equal to Kochi. Okay. I'll just copy this to put it beside. Okay, look here. 
I've got multiple rows as the answer. Now, when I write a subquery where the inside query gives me more than one row, I tell it to be a multiple row subquery. I'll come back to my single row. Single row subquery is my inside query will give you only one row. Multiple row subquery is my inside query will be giving more than one row. Okay, so let's come back. We are now going to learn about single row subquery. So whenever your inside query will give you only a single row, you say it is a single row subquery. Now we are very clear about what do you mean by a single row subquery. The inside query will give you only one result or one row to the outer query. Now there are many ways in which you can write single row subquery. The first way is with the help of a where clause. The second is you can use even a having. Okay. Or you can even have two selects together. Huh? So let's see how to do it. I'll just take up my SQL. I'll take my data again. Okay. I do have data. Now let us have a question. Let's have a question. What are the marks of... Let's have a question. Find the students who have uh, marks greater than Ryan's M1 marks. Okay. So this is the question. Find the students who have marks greater than Ryan's M1 marks. Okay, well, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to write a normal query. Select the name of students. Okay, till here it is fine. From test underscore uh, STU, where the mark of the student is greater than Ryan's marks. This is actually what is the query? Yeah, this is actually the query. The logic of the query select the name of the students whose marks are greater than Ryan's marks. So, you know, first thing what I need to calculate is I want to know what is Ryan's mark. Then only I can work on this query. So let's do the first thing. Let's calculate Ryan's mark. Select um, M1 from test underscore STU where name is equal to Ryan. So, you know, R Y A N, right? R Y A N. So, you know, if I give this query, let's see if I get Ryan's mark. I give this query over here. Okay. I got Ryan's mark. Now, this 20 should be put over here. It is this particular 20 which has to be put over here. So, you know, what I can do is I'll just take this query and put it over there. That's it. To calculate Ryan's mark, I have to give another query. So which means, you know, it is a query inside another query because no, there is no other way I can do it. There is no other way I can do it. So, you know, I'll write this in a, another query. Mind you, this gives you only a single row, a single row. So that is why I call it a single row sub query. So let's see what happens. Select the name from test underscore STU where M1 is greater than Ryan's mark. To calculate Ryan's mark, I know what is the query. So what I've done is I've just linked both of them together. Let me copy it. Let me put it over here. Let's see. They're telling Vinish. Then, uh, okay, I'm not happy with that. I'll even give comma M1 because I need to verify. I'll copy. I'll paste it over here. Let's see. Vinesh, what was Ryan's mark? 20. Hmm? 
So let's see if everybody has greater than 20, 55, 72, 23, 23, yeah, 63. So all these people, they do have marks greater than Ryan's mark. I'll do one thing, I'll just even order them, sort them out, order by name, so that it looks much more prettier. Okay, so you know, I've made them alphabetically. Mind you, Kirti comes over here below, as I told you earlier, after capital letters only, sorting of small letters happen. That is why Kirti, uh, small k, came after Vinish. I'll go on. I gave something like, the question is, find the name of the students who have marks greater than the Trivandrum people's M1 marks. So the query is like this, select name M1 from test underscore SDU, where mark one is greater than the Trivandrum people. So, you know, let's see what happens. First, what you have to do is select where city is equal to TVM. Let's see whether you get a single row subquery. Copy. Okay, luckily, Trivandrum, there is only one person so you can easily do it but at the same time if you gave this as kochi you would have had a problem it is a multiple row imagine you get this as kochi copy uh, the scene changes it is a multiple row you will not be able to do like this but anyway we will see that later anyway we will now work with trivandrum as you know trivandrum there's only one person so you know you will be able to work on a single row subquery so you know TVM people place, put this query. Okay, the name and M1 of all those who are having marks greater than the Trivandrum people. So let's see if Trivandrum, what was the mark? Trivandrum 72, Nenna. Oh, Nenna is having the maximum. Hmm? So you will not get any answer. Hmm? That is nobody who has marks greater than Nenna. Look here, Nenna, 72. That is the greater. Greatest mark. If you give less than, you'll get an answer. Let's come over here. Copy. Yeah. Great. Less than, you will get an answer because, you know, the Trivandrum person, he was having the maximum mark. So this is how you work with single row subquery. But mind you, because it was Trivandrum and you had only a single row, this worked. If it was Kochi, this query will not have worked. Okay, look here. Imagine I gave you a Kochi. Hmm? This will not work because you know it is a multiple row. Single row, this kind of fashioning will work. Multiple row, this kind of fashioning will not work. So we learned how to write a single row subquery using the where. Simple where. Hmm? Now, mind you, Kochi will not work. Only Trivandrum will work because, you know, Kochi gives you multiple rows. This will not work. That would not work. TVM would work. So we are done with the where. Now, single row subquery, you can even do it using having. So let's have a question. Write down a question. Before that, let me take my table so that I can see stuff inside and then give you a question from test underscore st. Okay, so I have a question. Uh, Find the cities, find the cities where average mark is greater than Ryan's mark. Okay, find the cities where the average mark is greater than the Ryan, greater than Ryan's mark. Okay, so look here, cities. 
which means you have to group with respect to cities because you know if there are many kochis you will want only one kochi if there are many trivandrums in the answer you will want only one trivandrum so you know you have to do a grouping with respect to city so uh, anyway uh, first let's find out ryan's mark so it's something like this find the city isn't it so select city uh, and then do something where the average mark is greater than ryan's mark okay so this is the basic logic select city you will have to do a grouping where the average mark is greater than ryan's mark so you know first thing what we have to do is find out ryan's mark uh, ryan's m1 mark or m2 mark or whatever let's say ryan's m1 mark so uh, select m1 from test underscore stu where name is equal to ryan i'm not executing this because you know we have done it earlier okay now this part is done you know ryan's mark okay so you know i'll just put this over there greater than ryan's mark now we'll do this part the outer part what is the outer part find the cities okay so select city you have to do a grouping select city from where from test underscore stu group by city group by city you are grouping it by city okay so you know what we'll do is we'll just run this part and see copy okay group by city so you know i've got kochi kannur kolkod trivandrum and thrissur grouping by cities is done and out of these i want a few cities this means you know you have done a grouping by and now on this you are going to do a filtering i want only the cities where the average mark is greater than ryan which means because i have finished my grouping and i want to put a condition please type in your chat box which sql query should be should i be using all given the answer having because you have done grouping and you are planning to put a condition you can be using only having having what the average mark isn't it average of what m1 you don't have a field called mark average of m1 is greater than ryan's mark okay so it selected the cities i grouped them with respect to cities and now out of the cities i am finding out who is having which all cities have marks greater than ryan's mark let's see what happens over here okay uh, let's find out group by city average mark is greater than ryan's mark what is ryan's mark ryan's mark is uh, 20 isn't it ryan's mark is ryan's mark no ryan's mark is what ryan's mark is 20 okay so average of kochi let's find out 55 20 plus 12 70 Mm, okay, that is greater than twenty. Any seventy-two Trivandrum seventy-two only. That is also greater than twenty. Trishur twenty-three greater than twenty. Twenty-three. Yeah, that is why all the cities came in. That is why all the cities came in. Anyway, this particular question, I am getting all the cities as the answer, which means you know, all the cities they have average mark. Greater than Ryan's mark in M one. Okay, are you able to get me? So we are done with using where and using having of single row sub query. Now the next category we will see is using a select statement. Okay, using a select statement or you know uh, a select. 
followed by another select. That is also possible. Just like you know, you had your select uh, with a where, select with a having. If you look over here, select with a having, select with a where, and all that. So you can directly have a select together with a select. So let's do that. Have a question. Before that, and I'll just take my uh, table entry. Select star from test underscore st. Okay. So uh, let's have a question. Display the name and average marks of students. Okay, so you can write the query like the select name and you even want the average mark of each student. Up to all the students, like, you know, let's say uh, if you look at the average mark of M1, uh, might be you are getting an answer like 21. Hmm? So uh, name, you can give directly like this if you want M1 plus M2 plus M3 from STU test underscore stu let's see what you'll get okay see look here you will not be able to do these kind of mathematical functions okay now instead what you can be doing is you can have a select followed by that because you know you know to find the average you can have something like select AVG of M1, AVG of M1 from test underscore STU. Oh, look here. Instead of giving it as a condition, imagine you want a field. Earlier, we were using conditions. Now, you know, name followed by a field and the field should be the average of all the M1s. Let's see what happens over here. Copy. Okay. See, it is the average of all the M1s. You get the result as over here. So, you know, together with a field, you can even have a subquery as another field rather than giving it as a condition. If you remember the earlier two queries, we gave it as a condition. So, this is actually coming in the condition part be it your group by having or your normal where you were giving it as a part of a condition, but rather than giving it as a condition, imagine you want a field. You can give even that field over here as a nested subquery. So that is what I meant. Like, you know, select follow directly by a select instead of a condition here, you get everything as 38 point because you know, the whole of M1 is taken and put over here. And then you can use your normal order by and all that order by, let's say, name. Okay, so this is also very much possible for a single row subquery. If you remember, this is a single row subquery. That is why you get everywhere 38 point. When you give and execute for this, look here. It's a single row, 38 point. That is why you have everywhere 38 point because this is a single row subquery. So this is the third way in which you can work on single row subqueries. So we'll quickly do a small revision of all what we have done till now. So we learned about a single row subquery. You can return only one row result to the outer query, you can use all your operators. You can either do it via a where query, which we saw, or if you're doing it via grouping, you can be using the having. Or if you want it as another field, you can use it using a select. Okay, look here. But the problem is single field only will be returned because it is a single row subquery. All these will be the same. Why? Because it is a single